Well, good morning, everybody. Sorry, 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 sorry. delay here. Let's uh, let's begin with a, uh, a word of prayer, please. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Allow us to be honored with the study of the history of fundamentalism. May your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, be glorified. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. I'm going to start with a hymn today. Uh, I'm not going to sing it. We're we'll, we'll, we'll going to do the hymn, then we'll do the attendance. Uh, the title of the hymn is They Call Me Old Fashioned. And it's appropriate for today because uh, our study is built with the history of fundamentalism. Fundamentalism is something that happened and began, the movement began over a hundred years ago. So I'm going to begin by reading the hymn. They call me old fashioned because I believe. That the Bible is God's holy word. That Jesus, who lived among men long ago, is divine and the Christ of God. Old fashioned because I believe and accept. My guilt was uh, probably only what has been spoken from heaven. Because at the cross I was saved. At the cross had my sins forgiven. Old fashioned because I am bound to do right. To walk in the straight, narrow way. Because I've given my whole life to God. Old fashioned because I pray. Old fashioned because I am looking above. To Jesus, my glorified Lord. Because I believe He is coming again. Fulfilling His holy word. My sins was old fashioned. My guilt was old fashioned. God's love was old fashioned, I know. And the way I was saved was the old fashioned way. Through the blood that makes whiter than snow. This hymn that is in many hymn books, tells us about the basis of our doctrine, the basis of our belief. There are many hymns in the hymn book that do teach doctrine. And those are the types of hymns that we should sing and should follow. In this class, uh, particularly in this session, we'll learn about the foundation of, of fundamentalism. In fact, all day today, we're learning about the foundation of fundamentalism. There's five sections in the book. We'll take a section each day. So, I will begin each class with either a hymn or a verse. 
我们也是开始用一首的诗歌或是一种呃一一节经节。That will pertain to our subject we're talking about this week. 这个就是跟我们这个礼拜所要讲的啊题目每一堂课都有关的。I will take attendance now. I think everybody's here. Everyone, everyone is here, sir. So we'll start with the the top of the list here. Zaidan、uh, Chi. Okay. If I if I say、uh, now, let me let me tell you about something about myself.、Uh, And then every time when I call your name, 我每次点点名的时候叫你的名字 I want you to tell me something about yourself. I <laughs> my name is、uh, Daniel Wei, and I've been married to my wife for 22 years. 他他是你叫你的名，他已经结婚二十年。So please、uh, tell me.、Um, 每次我点名的时候叫你的名，你告诉我一下关于你的自己的事情。Zaidan Chi, please、uh, tell me. What's something about yourself? Uh, um, I'm my English name Daniel. Also, ah,、uh, Daniel too. Okay. Ah,、oh, <laughs> uh, I'm waiting God prepare a wife for me. So. We can. We are leaving. Oh,、uh, wait. Uh, my English name is Timothy, and I'm from Holland. Timothy from Holland.、Right. Timothy. I'm from Holland. Lolly, Lolly Kings. Yes. Um, my name is Kenneth, and I'm married to Xi Wan for two years only. Oh, good. Times eleven, pretty soon. Uh. Uh, Lan Shu Yu, let's go.、Uh, Doctor Wei calls me C Y. C Y. Okay. <laughs> I'm also from the Netherlands. Okay. Good. Um, um, Lei Lei Shu Fei. Yeah. My name is Ivy. Ivy. I'm from Hong Kong. From Hong Kong. Good Ivy. Then we have、um, Li Na.、Uh, Thank you. Yes.、Uh, I'm Bruce. I'm from an island of China. Okay. What's the what was the island called? Zhongshan. Zhongshan. Okay. I'm here in Shanghai. How, how many islands are in? I mean, a lot of islands around China. Yeah. Hundreds. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> hundreds. Okay. All right. Um. Uh. Wang Jishan.、Uh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Uh. I'm Jason. Uh. Come from China. Okay. Uh. Wang Jishan. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Uh. We have uh. Uh. Yeah. Chan Chi. Chan Chi. Is that right? Yes. Paul. Right. Paul. Yes. I from China to Japan. Japan from Japan to America. Okay. <laughs> so you went to China, to Japan, and then to America. Good. Good. Welcome. Um. Uh. John uh, Shu Ming. Yes. They call me uh Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay.、Uh, I come from Holland also. Good. The same, the same section of Holland. There are different sections.、Uh, yeah, but I, but I moved to Paris now. Oh, you moved to Paris. Yes. Okay. Good. Good.、Uh, we have uh, Joe uh, Bishaw. That's me. Joseph. Right. Joseph. Okay.、Uh, my name is Joseph. I come from China. Good.、Uh, Wang、uh, Youngfu.、Yeah. Um, so that's it, right? Um. Uh, Hung. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm sorry. It's alright. It's young, young from Taiwan. Taiwan, okay.、Yes. And then we have、um, number twelve is、um, uh, Chang Yu. Did I say that wrong?、Um, My name is Chang Yu. <laughs> okay. Chang Yu, pass from Chang Yu. Okay. I'm sorry. Coming from China. Okay, from China. Good. And.、Um, Uh, he uh, he he went. He went. Yes. Yeah. He went. Okay. And、um, Chen、uh, Roshu. Yeah. Is that pretty close to、uh, how you would say your name? Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Okay. Good. What? So tell me something about yourself. Uh, I have an English name. Oh, what is your English name? So I I come from Spain. Okay. Good. 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 Is it English? English? No, no English. No, 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 no,
Lee, and uh, Lu Li. Lu Li Oh, um, let me see. Uh, Dan, uh, is it a uh, Leo? Leo? Dan, Leo. Is that your last name? Dan. Okay, Dan. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm also from Holland. Okay, great. <laughs> and we have um, uh, uh, Chung uh, Chung Jan. Jan. That's yeah. me. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm original from Taiwan. Taiwan, good. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a. Uh, Oh, Wang Jing. Right. Yeah. Yes. Right. My name is Jing Huan. Oh, Jing Huan, okay. From China. From China, okay. I, I mean, I, I guess I would say the last names first. Would you prefer me to say, which order should I say your names in? So I put the last name first or the first name last? <laughs> or the other way around? The Chinese name, the family name comes okay, first. Chinese name comes first, okay. And then one more, let me just hear up. Uh, wait, camera. Yes, it's fine. Okay, okay. Good. And something about yourself? Uh, I'm your wife. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy about that. All right, so we, uh, as in every week, everyone is here. That's, that's good to know. Um, so we're studying today uh, the, whole, the whole topic of, of the week. If we look at our, at our, our charts, and did everyone, everyone has a schedule, right? We all have this schedule, this Good. And so uh, we have... Um, the whole overall topic of the, of the week is the history of fundamentalism. And today we're going to be discussing the fountainhead of fundamentalism. Now, um, uh, Daniel, what is the, what is the fountainhead? Daniel, A fountainhead is, is a source of water. When we think, when we think, when we think of a, a stream, a river, it's, it's where it begins. It's where, it's where, it's where, it, it's where it begins. And so when we're talking about the fountainhead of fundamentalism, we're talking... I'm sorry. We're talking about where it begins. Now, my wife wrote some things in the board behind me. I think most of you can see most of it. There may be a particular angle that I'm blocking some of these words. But and what it says, uh, these, these are the, the issues that really got, began fundamentalism. There were people and groups that were denying these issues. The first one that's listed there is inerrancy of scripture. Now what inerrancy of scripture means, if you look closely at the word, if you remove the I-N, in, you see the word errancy. Um, inerrancy means that scripture is without any error. The next number, the next one on the list there is the virgin birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And this means that the Lord Jesus Christ was born of a woman without any interaction with a man. Number three. Number three is the fact is that we deal with the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. This means that when we have when we see the word deity, we have the, there's also the deity of the Holy Spirit. When we have the word deity, you know, this means that the Lord Jesus Christ is perfect God as well as perfect man. Number four on the board there is the substitutionary atonement of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
。第四点呢，据说借着主耶稣的代死呢，他的赎罪是可以代替我们的。This means that upon the cross of Calvary, the Lord was my substitute. 据说在哥哥他上，主耶稣啊钉在十字架上是为着我。He was your substitute. 他代替了我。Now, who can tell me what a substitute is? 那么代替是什么意思？ What is a substitute? Ah,、uh, 什么是代替呢 ？Let me let me give you an example. Ah,、uh, 我要给大家一个例子。This is a human example. 这个是呃人的那个例子。If Dr. Moses Yang was not able to teach a class, 据说杨牧师不能教课。He would have somebody teach for him. 他就呃呃就安排人来代替他。So that's and if that's what a substitute. Someone a substitute takes the place of somebody else. 就是说代替，就是说为着某某人啊来啊来代替他。So Lord Jesus Christ took my place. 就是说主耶稣为着我啊代替了我。He took your place. 啊代替了我。He took the place of everybody. 他为着世人啊，他代替了世人。Everybody deserved to die. And only those people, 只有那些人 who put their faith and their trust in what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, 就是那些啊真正相信他的人，因为主耶稣为着我们所做的事情 will receive His righteousness. 他会啊有上帝的啊公义就在他的身上 The last one, the last, 最后一个 the validity of Biblical miracles. 第五点就是说，这些圣经的神迹是有效的。No valid. 就是说有效的。It means they're genuine. They're bona fide. 这是真实的。Um. They're real. 它是呃真正的。Now these five fundamentals on the board. 这五方面的这个关于基要派的那个啊教义。They were being Attacked. He is being questioned. Because there are people who are 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 因为有人说主耶稣是借着人所生的，不是某某的那个啊病。They were saying he was just a man. 他只是一个人。Like, I'm sorry, go ahead. 好像我们。Just like every other man that's living today. 好像在世上每一个人。They said there. They said that he was just an example. 他。When he died on the cross. 他他死在十字架上的时候，他只是一个呃例子。And they were saying the miracles were just. Tricks, magic tricks. 据说这些啊，神迹呢，就是一些魔术的啊方法。Or just fraudulent representation of something that never happened. 就是来代替不是真正的事情呢啊，有发生过。Okay, so that's all. That, that's what we're discussing in the board. So if you want to zoom back in, that'd be nice. I appreciate that. It's for the for the men back there operating the camera. But thank you for showing the for our friends in Spain. Now,、um, I'm not sure if. Uh, perhaps if you're listening today、uh, in a remote location, like. 据说啊，我呃，我要对啊一些人可能在啊不同的啊地方啊，在偏僻的地方。We welcome you to the class as well. 我们欢迎你来参加我们这一班。And your questions are welcomed. I can't. I'm, I'm not able to access the questions right now, but I will be able to receive them tonight. 啊，据说你如果有问题，你想问问题，那么你就可以啊寄给他。我今天晚上就有机会看到。So if I forget, I will um I will tell you what email address is to send your questions to. 那么有一些啊，他的啊电邮的啊那个地址给大家知道。So it's a questions at bftbc.org. 啊，这个就是他的那个网站，他的那个 email. Let me uh let me spell that for you. Q U E S T I O N S questions. Questions. 就是这个呃问题。At bftbc bftbc.org. 
Uh, now, this is for um, the people who are listening by way of internet streaming. If anybody in the class today has a question, I would love to, I want to answer questions. I mean, if you, for, if, you, for, if you think of a question in the middle of the night, go ahead and send me an email, and if I'm up in the middle of the night, I will... Look at it. And it and so but, but I would like you to, you know, write your question down, come in here and ask the question. That'd be good. I want you to understand what the subject is about. Yes. So, those things in the board, they're very important. The five fundamentals of the faith. Now, there was, there was a there's, a, there, there's, a, there's been an attempt, as we, as we see in, in the textbook, there was, a, there was an, an attempt, and there still is an attempt, to blur, to make fuzzy the distinctions between fundamentalism and a movement called New Evangelicalism. Now, new evangelicalism must be distinguished between evangelicalism. But there, but there is this force, this movement that they wanted to blur, make fuzzy, kind of make unclear the distinction between fundamentalism and new evangelicalism. As you noticed in your reading there, Dr. Beale, in the, in the uh, preface of the book, I'm saying, on page 10, Roman numeral 10, uh, he said there was two groups that redefined history. And one group is the Catholics, and the other group is the Marxists. Now on page, on page three, uh, Dr. David Beale says, there's a particular, uh, the particular elements of Christian fundamentalism. There's, there's three of them. Not, not only does a fundamentalist uh, adhere to, believe in, these five fundamentals that are on the board. But they, 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 also, they also try to reach out to people. They defend scripture as the word of God. And they promote the practice of holiness. So there are three things that fundamentalism is not. It's not a philosophy. It's not an, an interpretation of scripture. It's not a exposition or explanation of the Bible. Understanding the idea of, of when we define fundamentalism, it was something that began over a hundred years ago. In fact, if you take it back to 1879, I think he begins his study with 1879. In fact, maybe even 1850, it says in the front cover. And that's, that's, a, that's a long time ago. But the idea of there was somebody that started questioning what God said. 
，就是说，因为有人在啊、呃，跟啊上帝哈、啊、有这这样的疑问。We know this. This happened in Eden, the Garden of Eden. 我们知道在那个呃亚当夏娃在那个伊甸园的时候已经有这样的事情。Whenever people question what God says, 当人啊来对上帝啊发发问的时候 ，there are there are there are there are problems. 就是说已已经有问题的。You should never question what God says. 上帝所说的话，我们不要在那边来发问题。And so, what fundamentalism boils down to. Uh, pardon me, but it, what the、um, what fundamentalism is, it's a matter of authority. This Christian fundamentalism's main idea is to say that there is a kind of power. That's the most important principle of fundamentalism is authority. This, uh, the most important principle of fundamentalism is to say that there is a kind of power. If I were to ask you what you believe and why you believe and what you base it on. We should always, you should always go back to what the what the Bible is. That's what you need to do. You have to base what you believe on what the Bible says. 当我问你说你所相信的是什么？为什么你相信？那么那个根据呢？就是根据上帝的话语，圣经。And that's the goal of the fundamentals. So base what they believe on the authority of the authority of God's word. 那么基要派的主要就是说你要会去的啊，讲啊，圣经所说的话哈，成为我们的权威，我们的标准。Now, the liberals themselves, in page four, Beale make, makes the mention of of the liberals. What the liberals say? Ah, this book, ah, this book, Ben, ha, the fourth year, talk about this, ah, the new party, the liberal party. And the liberals even say, now, a liberal is someone that does not believe the Bible. They are not completely believing the Bible. Someone who makes the Bible say something that it ought not to say. They say they make the Bible say something that it ought not to say. They say they make the Bible say something that it ought not to say. That's what a liberal is. Theological liberal. This is this is for in science. This part is for those ah ah liberal people. He says, according to the side of liberals, which which have which two things are on the side of fundamentalists are two things: the Bible and the body of doctrine. He says, he says, the Bible and the body of doctrine. He says, he says, the Bible and the body of doctrine. He says, he says, the Bible and the body of doctrine. He says, he says, the Bible and the body of doctrine. So that means body of doctrine. This he says. This ah ah, body of doctrine. This is what he says. 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 This So、these are the two things that it, it, its goal was: biblical purity and holiness. 据说很纯洁，然后又呃讲到这个圣洁的事情。Now he he has this distinction in 1930. 在一九三零年的时候 ，which Lord willing we'll we'll be looking at some things later on this week. But we have the events that happened around 1930, plus or minus a couple years. 据说差不多在一九三零年的时候所发生的事情。That started to change the approach that fundamentalists took. 据说这个基要派开始有了一点一点的呃变动。In before 1930, they were they took the position to be not be non-conformists. 他据说没有服从那种的啊那个啊啊。Let's all repeat.、Uh, non-conformists. Uh, think of conformity. Okay.、Uh, let me let me examine. Let me um. Is who uh who's made? If you've made any Jello before, raise your hands. Anyone ever made Jello before? Yeah. Okay, we've had. But go ahead, buddy. Jello. Jello. You know, Jello is um. Okay, what is Jello? Um, who, who, those that have made Jello before, tell me, explain what it is, please. I I know what it is, but I I think maybe the name Jello is kind of the wrong name to use because it's a, it's a um. Means very soft. It's flexible. It's soft. It's flexible.、Uh, that's right. And it's always soft or flexible. But sometimes, if you want to put, you have a mold. You put gel into a mold. You have a mold. Ah, 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 a mold. Is is taking shape to something. Now, when we put the word non-conformed in front of that, 
That means don't they don't they didn't want to take the shape of something. 啊，就是不愿意服从哈，跟做这个啊，那个模哈来来做。The you know the Bible says in the book of Romans, be not conformed to this world. 啊，就是在罗马书说不可效法这个世界。But be transformed. 而是要心意更新而变化。By the renewing of your mind. 就是说借助我们的心意而变化。Now transformed has the idea of change that have been changed. For the better, this uh uh, 据说改变的这个字哈 transform. The idea behind the, that word, the English word transform, transform is a is a perfectly fine word. This 改变的这个字 But if you think of the process, who studied the、uh, biology here? Anyone studied bi simple biology? 谁是呃那个生物学的那个专家？我不把天都学过。How how the perfect PhD? Because how how does a how does a butterfly become a butterfly? What's the process before it's a butterfly? What's it? Yes, metamorphosis. And so that's that's had to be transforming, changed. He wants to change. But the idea when we say non, they're they're non-conformists. They don't want to be changed to the world. They don't want to be changed to the world. They want to remain what they they were supposed to remain to what the Bible said. He is completely conforming to the Bible. And so when when they when they when I use the word non-conformist, when the book talks about non-conformists, he when when I use the word non-conformist, when the book talks about non-conformists. 啊，当当这本书是说不跟从这些其他的人。They're talking about don't be don't be changed like a butterfly. 就是说不要像那个蝴蝶哈变成那个蝴蝶，从那个。Pardon me. I mean, we are we are to be changed for the good. We're to be transformed. 我们应该要有所改变啊，为着呃比较更好。To the image of Christ. 去按照主的呃上帝的形象。But we're not to be like the jello in the mold. And made like the world, we're not to be conformed to the world. 就是呃，不要去说呃，跟跟从这个世界，跟从这个呃呃世界的那个模型而走。And so that's what they they were not conformists before 1930. 就是说呃，在一九三零年之前的这些呃基要派的是不跟从其他的人。Now today, I would still recommend you be a non-conformist. 那么我今天还是要坚持说，我们还是要跟从这样的啊啊基督派的这个不跟随其他的。But see what's happening before 1930 was they were trying to fix something that was broken. 就是说把以前那个不对的呢，把它来啊呃修补。They were trying to fix a broken denomination. 他就是说这些宗派呢有呃不对的地方，也要来把它啊来改正。A denomination is is a, is a group of churches. That have a similar doctrine. This group of churches, that is to say, have some churches that are organized because they have the same teaching. And they thought it could be fixed from within. 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 They were to be separatists. The Bible says. The Bible says in Second Corinthians, in that uh, Second Corinthians, chapter six, come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord. 就是第六章所说的，我们要分别出来。And touch not the unclean thing. 就是不要摸那些啊不洁净的东西。So that's what separation is about. This is about separation. It's about staying away from those things that are evil and wicked. Those bad things, those evil things, you have to leave them and get them separated. Now there, there are two major groups that were having this battle of separation. So there are two major groups that were having this battle of separation. So there are two major groups that were having this battle of separation. So there are two major groups that were having this battle of separation. 最主要是长老会 ，and the Baptist， 跟那个啊浸信会。They these two groups have the most structure in their denomination. 因为他们的宗派比较有组织性。And so that's why they had the most problems. 因为所以他们就很呃，因为引起很多的那种的问题。Now there's there's two types, perhaps even three types of separation. 有三种的那种的分别论。There's there's what's called 
personal separation. Inside that word personal separation is the word person. I'm a person, you're a person. That's what personal means. It's what we as people have to avoid and stay away from. As individuals, we look at the scripture, we read the Bible. And, and if we see in the Bible something that God tells us to do, we have to do it. We have to do what God tells us to do. If there's something in the Bible that God tells us not to do, we have to not do it. We have to not do it. We have to not do there's another type of separation called ecclesiastical separation. Ecclesiastical separation, the word ecclesiastical, that word means church separation. Not only as individuals do we have to be pure, be obedient to God's word, but as, but as a church, as a, a church is, a, is, is, the, is, the, is the body of Christ. I didn't count how many, we had at least six or seven different countries represented here today. Maybe, maybe tomorrow I will make a, make a note of that or maybe someone else can help let me know how many countries we have represented at the school. But each of us come from a different church. And our, our, the church that we are a part of, the church, in other words, when we, when we attend a Sunday morning service or a midweek service, those fellow, those fellow believers that we associate, with whom we associate, are, are part of, you know, are part of the church. You know, the church is a the, the idea of, of church is a, it's a, an assembly that's been called out. It's a, a called out assembly. And the very idea that's called out, see the ecclesia, that's that's the Greek word for that's the Greek word for called out. And, and so the idea of ecclesiastical separation is this body, this church body, must separate from, they, they want to separate the liberals, as Beale says on page 7, the liberals from churches. If there's somebody that denies those five things we talked about today, or one of those five things we talked about on the board, that individual is a liberal. They would be a false teacher. A heretic. A modernist. Heretic, modernist, liberal, false teacher. They are they are different ways of saying the same thing. So we want to, when possible, separate the liberals from the churches. Question, right? Yeah, I don't understand what you mean by separate liberals from churches. You want to kick them out? Yes. Okay. You kick the liberals out. That's right. So you so that's that's what they're 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 right. And we'll see some examples of that later on in our discussion this week. 
and then by separating from liberal churches. 就是, there comes a point in time when if you're within a church that is liberal that is part of the National Council of Christian Churches that is part of the World Council of Christian Churches WCC it's time to separate from those churches. Or if their church is denying those things that, that are written in the board. If they question the authority of scripture. You have to separate from those churches. Now, Norris, the permanent Norris, Bill, talks about two pastors in particular um, who in the early days, back before the turn of the previous century, back in the 1800s, late 1800s, early 1900s, that exposed liberalism within their denomination. On page 8, uh, Bill tells us these two men are J. Frank Norris. And Oliver Van Osdale. Now, J. Frank Norris was a, was a, was a Southern Baptist. And back when he was a college student, at Baylor University, they were that was a southern that is a Southern Baptist school. But when J. Frank Norris or was a student, they were teaching. They began teaching evolution at that school. Now evolution. Disagrees with Genesis chapter one. Evolution is a classic example of liberalism. In any form. Any derivative of evolution, any form of, in other words, there is a teaching called theistic evolution. Or Darwinian evolution after Charles Darwin, Darwin's evolution. That's liberalism. Norris noted in his denomination, there were leaders that were denying the inerrancy of scripture. Now, and when you start denying inerrancy, you're essentially disregarding all of Scripture. Now, the name you should know. And you probably already know it. And the, the one that became, the one man, if any man, who became, became the leader of new evangelicalism, a classic example, is Billy Graham. Billy Graham, he started out on the right track, but with his campaigns, he got off track. And it's possible to probably have a whole class 
on the downfall of Billy Graham. 据说我们可以说他的那个堕落的啊方法是怎么样？ Now remember, I told you 1930 before and after. 据说一九三零年之前之后的事情。With nonconformists before and separatists after. 据说啊，有这些啊呃不服从这些的啊呃呃新派的人跟这些分别出来的呃新教派的人。The author here, David Beale, tells us that before 1930, Christians would separate from worldliness. 据说一九三零年之前呢，他们就呃跟呃那个世界呢啊。据说没有来来往，据说脱节。And after 1930, from、uh, modernism. 据说呃， uh, 还有一九三零年以后呢，就有这个现代啊、uh, 论的。Now what what is uh what is worldliness? 什么是将到这个俗世的呢 ？Worldliness is is living like the world. 据说跟呃、uh, 世界的人呃呃、uh, 的生活都一样。Now I don't mean you know living like a like a sphere. 据说好像放在一个范围里面。But the people, the worldliness is the idea of being and acting like everybody else who is living in the world. 据说你跟世界的人的好友呢都一样，你的生活跟他没有分别。The world is a wicked place and filled with wicked people. 我们知道这个世界充满了这个啊恶人。I mean, there are people in the world today that This evening or tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. will be out. 据说呃，好像明天呃早上两点钟。And about doing things that are contrary to scripture. 据说他所做的事情跟这个圣经的教导有啊啊反对。There are people today, 10 o'clock or 9:45, whatever time it is, that are doing things that are contrary to what the scripture says. 据说十点钟或是某某一个时间呢，他所做的事呃事情呢，违反了圣经的教导。Going back to the jello and the mold, we don't want to be worldly. We don't want to be inside and living and shaping ourselves like the world looks. 据说啊，好像那个 jello 的这个啊，就随从他们的那种的生活，跟从他们。We're supposed to look like the Lord Jesus Christ. 我们就要，我们应该是要像我们的主耶稣基督。We're not supposed to look like the people of the world. 我们就不要像这个世界的人。And so we have to separate from worldliness, and that's what they did before 1930. 就是在一九三零年之前 ，and we still have to do that today。我们到今天还是要跟从这些。Also, after 1930， 还有呃一九三零年以后 ，they were separated from modernists。他们是跟这些现代的人有分别出来。Now in 1948， 一九四八年的时候 ，is when the, the new evangelicalism。Essentially, identified itself. 一九四八年的时候，这个新的福音派就来啊啊承啊被承认。Harold John Nightingale, a Nightingale 的这个人 ，began the word New Evangelical. 他就开始有这个字，据说新福音派。He invented it. 他是开始的这个事情。Sometimes they would use the word he coined it. 以他开始的给这个名词。If you think of a coin, a coin in your pocket here, I have, I have a coin right here. It's not worth much, but it's a coin. The way this coin was made was it was there was there was a, a die that came out and it stamped on the coin, and it left it left this impression. And one of the so after 1950, there was a 一九五五零年以后 there was there was a beginning to separate from disobedient brethren. 这个据说那些不愿意顺从的这些的弟兄们 Harold Nightingale believed these five fundamentals. 他这个 Nightingale 这这个人他不相信这些的事情 But he worked with those people who did not. 据说他那些否认的这些人他也不跟他们来往 All right, so that's that's all for this lecture. So we、oh, we, we got a question. Go ahead. Um, one simple question. Sure.、Um, Will his name Nightingale appear? Because so I can write it correctly. Um, let me find it for you. I, I'm not sure if it's in this section or not, but he did. Okay. If, it, if it's in this section, it will be on page. Um, uh, let me find out. Um, 
From page nine. If it's not a page nine, I will find it in the index for you so you so you can find out how to spell it. Any other questions? Yes, second questions. Because um, in the beginning, when you start talking about separation, there was, you were saying there are three separation. Oh, yes, I didn't tell you the third one. Okay, uh, thank you. Um, so the, 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 third, the third one is, is, is Bible separation. Which Bible, which translation of the Bible are you going to use? Translation of the Bible that's based upon the proper Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek texts? 据说在圣经用的圣经的那个版本有分别出来是说是用钦定本等等其他的版本。Or are you going to use a Bible that's based on the West Kind Hort type of text? 或是你是根据那个 West Kind 跟那个 Hort 的那个经文。Alright, any other questions? Uh, Harold Lockingay um, is spelled O C K. E N G A. He's mentioned on page 258. So let me repeat the spelling. Uh, o C K E N G A. So he, 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 is he part of New Evangelical? You see, he's the father of New Evangelicals. He coined the word. Uh, so, some sources say 1947, but, but the, most sources say 1948. It probably did it, I think he did it in writing in 1947, but in public he did it in, in 1948. Yes? What's the difference between um, New Evangelical and Evangelical? Which you said is slightly different. Yes, there is difference. Uh, even Evangelical and Evangelical. In a historical sense, evangelical believes the, 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 the orthodox doctrine of scripture. And so then they would they would fit within the in a historical sense they would fit within the bounds of of orthodox Christianity. But, they're, 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 but lately the, the terms have been blurred together. And it's how, it's how one defines the terms. Yes. So, got a question, Tammy? Or not? Uh, could you define orthodoxy, please? Orthodoxy, okay. Orthodoxy, thank you. Orthodoxy means things that are straight. Straight doctrine. If anyone ever has put bra has braces on their teeth before, or you perhaps braces on your on your legs, uh, it's to make things that are crooked straight. Braces are like a bunch of little wires that they go put your teeth to make your teeth straighter. I have never had braces, so I have crooked teeth. <laughs> so my teeth are unorthodox. My daughter, she's had braces, so she has orthodox. Her teeth are straight. Ortho, it means straight. So lining up with what the scripture says, that's orthodoxy. Okay. Good. All right. And different from orthodox church. Yes, it is different. It is different, yes. Because it's, it's there again, these words get confusing when we mix them up. Tim. Yes, that's right. Well, let's take about five minutes break. We're behind schedule. We'll come back at about 10 o'clock. And we're going to sing a hymn when we come back at 10 o'clock in the language we're most comfortable with, whichever, whatever that is.